hey guys this is how to use the google fit app so if you're looking for a fitness tracking app you can try it downloading and using the google fitness tracker simply open the app store on your device and then search for google fit install the google fit app after installation tap and open the app on the startup screen if you're signing into multiple google accounts on the device you can tap in this section Select the Google account you want to be associated and tap on continue as that Google account. Fill in the information on this page and tap on next. The next step, you need to turn on track your activities. This allows Fit to track your walking, running and cycling in the background. And this only works when your device is on you. Tap on turn on and tap on allow to give permission. Your first time using Google Fit, you'll be taken through the introduction on how to choose your daily goals. Once permission has been given, on your Google Fit dashboard, the first thing you see is the rings and numbers. The green signifies your heart point and the blue signifies your steps. This updates to meet your daily goals. So if you're able to meet all your daily goals, you have the ring completed. Now you can tap on the heart point, tap on the steps. This will take you to the heart point and steps. Also on this page, you see the heart point and steps. When you also tap on the ring, it will also take you to this page. Now basically when you are here, it shows you all the activities you perform to get your heart point and steps. With the heart point, you get a reward system where you score heart points for each minute of activity that gets your heart pumping like a brisk walk, running and every other activities that you perform on Google Fit. Why the steps generally count the total numbers of steps you take. Now when you go back to your dashboard, you see your total calories, your total kilometer covered, and the total moves you've made for that day. This updates as you keep using your device. If you've performed a task without your mobile on you, you can easily add to your heart points and steps. Now simply tap on any of the options and you see the plus at the top right corner of your screen. You can tap on the plus icon and you'll be able to give a title to the activity. Select an activity type which you have a long list of activity types you can select from. Select the start of the activities and duration intensity to increase the heart point that will be added to your overall heart point for the day distance for the distance you've covered energy expanded for calories and steps you can add the total numbers of steps in this section you can also add a note once you're done tap on save and it will be updated in this section as well as updated towards meeting your daily goals now if you also want to increase the intensity of your daily goals such as your heart point and step you can tap on your profile which is at the bottom right corner of your screen here you see activity and goals where you can increase your total numbers of steps by simply tapping on the plus icon to increase your daily goal steps once you're done tap on set goal and this will be updated towards your daily goals you can also do the same for your heart points any update you make will be updated in the ring for your daily goals after completing your daily task you get an animation that shows you have completed your daily task both your heart points and steps while still on the dashboard, you see Sync Fit with Health Connect. Now, this allows Google Fit to share stats between Fit and your other apps like your calories, heart rate, and blood measurements. And this app also has to be connected to your Google account. Tap on Get Started. So, when you allow Fit to read the data type from Health Connect, Fit uses this data to provide features like tracking your fitness and health and giving related recommendations and insights. So, if you want to turn this on, tap on Setup. And you'll be able to give access to which data you want to share with Health Connect. You can choose to toggle on all, or you can scroll and toggle on and off on which you do not want to share. Tap on allow and then tap on done. Your daily goals in this section shows you a weekly achievement for your daily goals. So when you tap on this, you'll be able to add in this section and you'll be able to view your daily, weekly, and monthly data. Your weekly target with Google Fit is 150 heart points. Now when you scroll under, if you find background location is off, now this allows Google Fit to be able to show you a map of any location you've covered when you walk, run, and even use a bike. To give this permission, tap on open settings, scroll till you find tracking preferences. Here you want to toggle on, on use location. Tap on step 1 and choose your preferred option in this section. Tap on step 2 and grant location permission. Once you're done, go back and tap on turn on. Once this is turned on, all you need to do is have your location turn on and you get a map at the end of the activity. Under this, you find the hard point steps 
So basically, when you tap on this, this will take you to the same place again where you can view the specific details of how you end the point, your daily, weekly, and monthly data, and add an activity. With the weights, you get a personalized data of how your weight has changed over a period of time. And anytime you take a measurement, simply tap on the add button at the top right corner of your screen and you'll be able to enter your measurements in this section. Select the day of the week and select the time in this section. Enter the weight and then tap on save. This will be updated in your weight. You will also find energy expanded, blood pressure and many more. Energy expanded and when you tap on this, you'll be able to view the details of how you've earned those points. With the blood pressure, you need to enter your blood pressure manually. This will help you create a personalized data of your blood pressure over time. To add blood pressure, simply tap on the plus icon at the top right corner and you'll be able to select the day of the week as well as the time of measurement. Here you'll be able to enter your systolic and diastolic and you can also select your body position such as standing, sitting, laying down and recline. You can also select your arm location. Once you're done, simply tap on save. If you choose to start an activity at any point in time, you can simply tap on the plus icon in this section and when you tap on this you find add blood pressure add weight add activity and track workout you can tap on add an activity and you'll be able to add activities you've done offline but if you want to create an activity while using the google fit app you can simply scroll down and in this section you're going to see set a pace for your works you also find the same option when you tap on the plus icon and you will see track workout tap on this and you'll be able to select an activity type you want to perform in this section. Now tap on try paste working and then tap on next. Tap on next and then tap on done. Now depending on the activity type you select, customization will differ for each. You can always tap on activity type in this section to choose an activity type. There are tons of activity types you can perform. It's for tennis, stationary biking, squash, spinning, snowboarding and many more. Once you've selected an activity type, for example, pace walking, by default, the pace goal is set as 100 pace per minute. You can choose to increase the total number of pace you want to carry out per minute. And you can also reduce in this section. When you're ready to start the activity, tap on the play icon in this section. It will start with a countdown. And the sound will keep playing in the background and even while playing the music. You have the option to pause, stop the activity and continue the activity. This will measure the total numbers of steps and the distance you've covered. And if you have the map feature turned on, you'll be able to view a map of the locations you've covered. When you stop an activity, it will be updated towards your daily goals. Under this, you see other useful information such as your sleeping fit, how much sleep you need, a simple way to stay healthy. Now, in the journal section, you'll find a journal of your daily activity, how you've earned all the points you've gained. When you tap on them, you get more details on the activity you carried out. Next to the journal, you'll find the browse feature. Here you'll find activity where you find your insight on your daily goals, your weekly targets, your hard points, steps, energy expanded, distance, and many more. And while still on this page, you can tap on the plus icon here to enter an activity you have carried without your phone measurement. Next to activity, you'll find body measurements. This will help you keep data on your weight, height, and body fat, how this information has changed over time. Now you can tap on individual option to add manually, or while on the data page, you can tap on the plus icon, and you'll be able to choose from the option which data you want to be updated. For vitals, you will find blood pressure, which you have to add manually, heart rate, resting heart rate, respiratory rate, blood glucose, oxygen saturation, and body temperature. For nutrition, you can enter details for calorie consumed and hydration. Sleep, you will find sleep duration and bedtime schedule. And cycling tracking, you will find period, which help measures a woman's period. And finally, you have your profile section, where you have your activity goals, bedtime schedule, and the about you. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you do find this video helpful, leave a like, subscribe, and have the post notification turned on.